Desjardins passes on the money for Wayne Gretzky. Then ahead to Dom Foose. Dom Foose fed one in front, and Gretzky is wedged out of the play. There'll be a penalty coming up. Gary Suter will go. Laid back in, and it's Dom Foose. Punched it behind and was hammered by Darian Hatcher. This is something we did not show uh, uh, during game one. The game-winning goal was definitely offside. Rod Brindamore on the top of your screen in the red jersey goes over the blue line before the puck does. It was an offside that was missed by the official. And what we have noticed is Team USA has handled it very well. They said, A, the officials are the best in the world from North America, referees and linesmen. They're human. Mistakes do happen. They also feel that it did not play well enough to win the game. Even though they were in it and it took that type of goal to beat them, they did not play near the level that they had played earlier in the tournament. And I applaud the coaching staff and players for handling the situation that way. Fontaine walled up by Dom Bruce, so Leclerc must play. Old line on him. Fed back to the point. Shooter shoots one. And it's going to score! John Leclerc, one of the heroes for Team USA. Curtis Joseph. Sacking left. Wait plays the safety. Darian Hatcher. Into the glove of Lindros, who quarters ahead. Lindros drops. Bill Guerin moving in. Guerin a shot and a save made by Joseph. Leclerc went to the net. Oda line was right there playing in your face hockey. You talked about Iserman, Brindamore, and Fleury doing damage in this tournament. I think with Messier out of the lineup because of the flu bug and the groin injury that that line will play more. On Team Canada's squad tonight are four defensemen who have played for the Montreal Canadiens. Oda line one of them recently traded to New Jersey for Stefan Richet. Across to Chelios. And back in. On the ricochet. They try to shank in front of the backhand attempt by Leclerc. Blocked down and then covered by Curtis Joseph. And again, Team USA getting to the net, getting some rebounds, getting some deflections. But the stone wall's there. Curtis Joseph again makes the save. And he's a great anticipator. Reach plays well. He was down with his stick down on the ice. Scott Stevens backs up. Ian Desjardins, the defense pair. And there's the low shot by Leclerc. And then you see the shot up high from Stevens. This is one mean game with everything on the line here. Here's Shanahan and Amante. There's the hold by Amante, back checking, and Shanahan's stick in a reckless way when he knew where Amante was. It went right up over the side of the head of Tony Amante. The Chelios, hurried one that went off coffee stick to the glass. Now John LeClaire center one across, just away from Smolinski. And Smolinski with a pass on. It's taken by Amante. Back to Smolinski. Shoot one. Score! Team USA the tie a deflection at the front of the net and the united states is ahead two to one and john leclerc is the guy who got it it's that line again stop who's behind the goal looking for a pass now moves out backhander blocked another shot Gretzky. oh and getting a piece of his shot with snyder out front oh scramble there and still they can't get it home another shot and richard got that one off the stick of linden and, and ended up giving it away and then dom foos watch stevens or pardon me hatcher blocked the shot and then Richter do a little dance, just like he was on hot coals, up, down, sideways, backwards, trying really not to knock the puck into the net himself, especially when Gretzky had it behind the goal line. And then what a great shot by Scotty Young. He stole the puck from Niedermeyer. Nice right back at Theo Curry, wanted to feather one through and got it on to Brindamore. Brindamore trying to get by. Rod Brindamore left it behind. Madonna run into by Iserman. Couldn't get it to Curry. Loose puck is in on goal, and Richter hangs off. They do it again. Brindamore, Flurry, Iserman. It's almost remarkable at how they've played as a unit coming off the bench with Team Canada. Watch the hit on Madonna. Iserman. Madonna didn't see it till the last second. Iserman was coiled and he just sprung right up with his legs, knocked Madonna off the puck, and then set up the scoring chance. Finally, you'll see Richter grab a hold of the puck. As that line has been by far, in my opinion, the best line for Team Canada in this particular game. Look at Iserman. The leg push. Three on two. Detmar hustling to get back. It's Flurry to the slot. Second by Eisenman. And a puck check by Richter. And it hit the outside of the goal. And Flurry was able to shove Richter while he was trying to make a play. And I, I think, think the penalty's yeah. coming up to Flurry. It's an interference call. I think Flurry right there may have heard a word from Chelios. And Flurry knows he's getting a penalty. Flurry had a turnover in his own zone. 
to Pat LaFontaine, which led to a U.S. scoring chance that they never registered a shot on goal with. And then there was a rush off ice. And it was a good rush off ice as they stayed on side. They moved the puck nicely. And then Fleury ends up going to the net. Eiserman's on the puck. Fleury goes to the net, and he bumps the goalie. Right here, he takes Richter out of the play. That's a bad penalty to take deep in the zone when you're on a rush like that your team is down 2-1. He did interfere with the goaltender and there he wanted Chelios to do something to even it up. Good aggressive penalty killing by Canada. 35 to go on their kill. Doug Waite walks it back in. Too far for Leach but he plays it on the bounce. It is Leach again. On to the back. Kevin Hatcher a shot passed up. Another shot ricocheted him and still they scramble and Kenny oh. wanted to joke about it. He ever get oh. the second rebound. Doug Waite is doing he, he's Skating in the corner, looking down at the ice, going, how did I not score? Curtis shows them here, saves Canada. Here's the play where the shot comes from the blue line with Hatcher. Now watch Brad Hall get the rebound. He stays out of traffic, the puck finds him. Now watch Doug Wade to the right side. Oh, how did Curtis Joseph stop that? My goodness. Fabulous, marvelous, incredible save. And then there you see the, the stick of Dom Foos into the face of Kachuk and Kachuk with a spearing motion with his stick and penalty minutes to foot and Kachuk. Again, those two started, Mike, way back at the blue line before Team USA got into the zone. Watch the left hand of Curtis Joseph. He never gives up. There's the save on Hall. Now watch this. The puck found his glove. Oh, my goodness. Right on the goal line, right up against the goal post. Seeing many scoring chances off the rush that we saw earlier. Good shot by Matthew Schneider. And then with Niedermeyer in that down. Crowd reacts to that. Fontaine put it behind, and it's Curtis Joseph again. Rolled around the turning to Dom Foose. And another skirmish involving Pat LaFontaine. And Niedermeyer. And both will go. Niedermeyer well-conditioned athlete. He, he absorbed the hit by Matthew Schneider. And Schneider went flying earlier. Then LaFontaine moved over here. We talked earlier about intensity. And Canada had it in Philadelphia. I thought USA did not. In this game, both teams had it. And that's why we have a tight game. That's why we have emotions starting to bubble a little bit. Everything's on the line here. You've got to be smart. Odeline and Schneider were talking. As you see there to the right side. See the, the two players as the linesmen are busy breaking up the other ones. It is not customary to see Pat LaFontaine involved in scraps. Niedermeyer heads to the box, and LaFontaine will as well. What a oh, hit man. on Schneider. Yeah, Schneider shot the, the puck. It was a good save, and then Schneider, he, he initiated the body check, and he just pinballed right off of Scotty Niedermeyer. Harry Suter drops back further. Suter then for Chelios. Murray to the puck, giving up the foot. Fires one, but it went loose off Chelios, and here comes Hall on a breakaway. Look, shoot, score! Brad Hall, and it's three to one in favor of Team USA. Four on four goal. There would have been a penalty against Team Canada if Hall did not score. You know, it looked like Team USA was in trouble. Chelios moved the puck along the boards. And all of a sudden, there was nobody there except for red jerseys. The shot was taken and blocked by Chelios. Hull skated through the neutral zone, got the puck at the blue line, breakaway. And a hit for Coffee. All Coffee drops and Iserman takes. Didn't fight his way through the defense and Schneider cleared. Ahead comes Madano. They pick up a couple of extra players. Madano trying to shake by and does. Madano swaggers one in front and it's knocked away by Joseph. Oh, what a move by Madano to gain the front of the net. Look at one-on-one -on -one here. Madonna through the legs and around the body. Scotty Niedermeyer went down. Now you look. Gretzky's back. The Jardins back. And actually, Madonna did get the shot. I apologize. Curtis Joseph with another save. As Jardin moving in as well. Red number 37 floats it along for Scott Stevens. Tried to hack it further. Kept alive for a moment by Stevens. But then died it on. And Theo Fleury skates it down. Moving on in. Fleury fires. And a save made by Richter. Turned aside by Darian Hatcher. And then he and Fleury went down. Shanahan there, turns it out. If they hurry, a two-on-one. Joe Sackick moving in with Lindros. Hustling back is Denmark, and the shot came on goal. Richter with a save, and then he's tripped up. Puck loose, and he's still reaching for it. Richter able to cover and throw it back to neutralize. Oh, my. That same two 
players at the two-on-one, Lindros and Sackett. This time there was no pass, there was a shot, and Richter was there. Lindros looks a little shaken up, Mike. For the final Boy. three seconds of the period. Kachuk just skated to Lindros and punched him right in the back of the head. So this thing really getting tough. Lindros now and Kachuk, they have looked at each other. They're looking at each other. The linesman have jumped in. Here's the two-on-one. Sackick was harassed by Deadmarsh, and there's the shot. Now, what happens to Lindros there? He tries to take Richter out and does a good job of it. Tries to dig the puck, and here comes Kachuk right there. And that seemed to shake Lindros up a little bit. Oh, baby. Are they going at it? Wow. 40 hard minutes played. Ron Wilson's crew is ahead so far. When your team has a big boy, you try to play the other team's big boy. And look at these guys. Lindros trying to find space in front of the goal crease. And Hatcher, Darian, that is, does a nice job keeping Lindros away from the puck. Canada's changed their lines a little bit. Two of their lines are intact. We have not seen Iserman, Primo, and Grindemore here in the third period. Urged on by the center ice scoreboard. They respond. Puck back to the point. Niedermeyer shoots one. Save. Richter rebound in front. An attempt by Primo is blocked down. Still loose at the side of the net. Iserman to play. Tried to center and it popped back over. Low the line at the half board. Drew one in front. And it's immediately wiped off. I thought it went in, but it must have glanced off the post. It did to the left side of Richter. Again, Canada goes with fresh people. Primo's out there. He hasn't had a shift in the third. And all of a sudden, he was all over the top of the goal crease. There was a deflection. Richter was close to it, but I believe it went off the goal post and stayed out. In fact, when it hit the goal post, it came up behind Mike Richter the other way. That's how close it was. Canada going with some fresh bodies as much as possible. And they're going with some big bodies. And they're trying and trying and trying to power their way past Mike Richter. 6.38 to go. And Chuk tosses it along. His team up by two. Madano trying to get by Desjardins. He's scooped up by Joseph as it bounces right in front of the net. And so play is stopped with six and a half left in the U.S. by two. can't have not only high quality Ooh. players but high quality coaches like we have at these benches and not have them work a little with their motivational match as well as the X's and O's. That's right. Yeah, motivation now is what's important. Doug Waite and Lindros show what this game's about. Bumping, grinding. You have to earn space on the ice. Darian Hatcher lobbed it along. The Hull tipped it. Desjardins got help. Oh, Doug Waite, just took, Doug Waite just took a bad penalty. Man. He went right into Desjardins, took him out nicely, and then punched him in the mouth. So Team USA with a 3-1 lead, a very undisciplined play, and Desjardins dazed on the play. The Brindamore Graves Lemieux line on the ice, and they've had good shifts all the way through. They work the buckets along the boards. You can see Desjardins still dazed. He's right in front of the USA bench, and he's not being helped by anybody. And I think he, he's groggy. He took a left jab or, or left hook right to the kisser. Desjardins on the puck, Doug Waite moves in, takes him out nicely, but then he follows through with a left punch right to the kisser. I mean, to me, in a situation like that, you see the, the punch very undisciplined. You see the legs buckle as you see Desjardins going. I don't know, Mike Tyson left, and, and Desjardins still down now as the training staff helping out. I mean, he's down, but to me, a 3-1 lead. And Canada now has a power play to try and make it 3-2. Doug Waite is a good player. But he knows better, and he took a bad penalty. Shanahan moves in and fires that block down. Able to hook it on back to Lindros. The block was by Suter. Buck laid in and tapped on to Shanahan. Then back to Lindros again. Shoots one. Lindros' stick went into Mike Richter's pads hard. 
Now, earlier in the shift, Smolinski did not get the puck deep for Team USA, and it almost cost them as the U.S. club is trying to change their lines. There, Terry Fraser is trying to calm everybody down. We see it for his penalties. It could be Lindros and Chelios if he decides to handle his hand penalties out. Lindros with Otto now, teammates during the regular season of Philadelphia. The two defensemen for Team Canada out above the circle. They don't want to go in deep, otherwise the faceoff would move out of the zone. So well, that's some discipline by their club. Well, Terry you, Fraser, I'm sorry, Mike, is going to the penalty box. If you have Lindros and Chelios off with a minute 48 to go, those are two guys that would play for their teams a lot. There's Chelios, nose to nose, and look at Lindros, keep going, not quit on the play. In fact, got the shot on goal. There's the stick into the pads of Richter. So here comes Chelios, here comes Otto, and we have a minute 48 to go. Lindros and Chelios in the penalty box. It's a pretty good trade-off, I think, for both clubs. But with 148, their best players are getting a great chance to rest right now. For Team USA, Chelios had been playing with Suter. So if Suter goes on the ice, it won't be with his regular partner. Darian Hatcher and Leach have been really good. I mean, really good. They may get the call here with so little time to go. But both teams talk strategy. Team USA actually, not too much coach player talk. Team USA with the lead. Team Canada, because these two guys are talking about how lovely the game's been. <laughs> what are they going to do in the next few days? <laughs> Chris thought about an answer, gave it back to Lind. <laughs> uh oh. Standing Chris is now, standing up now. Uh oh. Two very, very distinguished leaders. Two very proud players who play a hard game. Emotions. You have to have emotion to play this game. If they can't, he might not sleep that well. Lindros has been a key face-off man for Team Canada. He'll be missing that role, even in the offensive zone. Flurry on the draw with Otto. Flurry wants to cheat a little bit, but you can't have your skate blades touch those red lines. A new rule. Otto's got the longer reach. It makes you wonder. Coffee and Kachuk on the near side. Canada needs Coffee to stay on the ice because of his offensive abilities. See, the, the fans aren't quite as calm as these players are right now. Lee Chuck with it, the net is empty. Joseph is at the bench, and Fred from the bench, Gretzky to take it the extra man. Worked on for Niedermeyer, corralled by Flurry. he has to wait. Flurry now waits and tries to pass one ahead, can't do it. Keith Kachuk ahead, the net empty, he scores! Four to two, Team USA with a minute eight to go. Mike, in 1991, these two teams met for the championship of the Canada Cup. Team Canada won two straight. Here we have Team USA winning for the first time a game at this level against Canada, and we will have a game here, I would think, with 108 to go on Saturday night, Montreal. It looks even more like a Team USA night now, as Brindamore brings it ahead with 25 to go. Back on for Theo Fleury again. Fleury had it chipped away. Scott Young further. Steps by one across the red line, and scores! Scott Young has buried it. Five to two, and there will Saturday. Well, we can start talking about Saturday night now. I'm sure that for Team Canada, Messier will be back in the lineup. Even his presence alone means something. Best of three. Tied at one. Team USA five. Canada two. 